Hi, welcome to Developer Relations at BlackBerry. I'm Samar. I'm Rashid. Whom do you create apps for? Well, the user. Exactly. The users are the ones who pay for, use, and review your app. Yes, so you definitely want your app to appeal to the user, both visually and functionally. We created this three-part video to help you design your application with the user in mind. So let's think about a smartphone user and the challenges faced. There's limited screen real estate for the content. Users are busy, often distracted multitasking, and won't spend much time interacting with your app. Hey, Samar! Samar! Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, oh, put your head sorry. in the game. Oh, yeah. Mm. Add to that the challenges of handling orientation changes. The button clicks, swipe gestures, every single action adds up. Our user experience guidelines address all these challenges. These guidelines are available to you at developer.blackberry.com slash design slash blackberry10. The documentation has great examples, best practices, do's and don'ts. This also includes the seven key principles of well-designed BlackBerry 10 apps. Our core apps make use of all these key principles and so should yours. BlackBerry 10 leverages the swipe gestures and provides a great flow to quickly switch between apps. The newly introduced auto-hiding action bar and the non-sticky towel bar make more room for the actual content, especially in devices with smaller screens. The Hub is the most visited place for any BlackBerry 10 user. It really puts communication at its core. The Clock app gives the user a nice moment of charm. The action bar is ergonomically placed at the bottom of the screen, easily accessible with one thumb. The active frames allow you to give the user a fluid workflow. At any given time, the user can glance at the relevant content of your minimized app without actually interrupting what they were doing. The swiping gestures on the carousel of BlackBerry Wall give the user a cinematic experience. In our next video, we will go into the details of each of the elements of user experience design. But before we leave, we want to leave you with something to think about. We think the look and feel of an app should follow the platform's common practices and guidelines. For example, all the core apps on BlackBerry 10 put their action items at the bottom on the action bar. Would you follow that regardless how it was initially designed for other platforms? Do you agree? Why or why not? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and watch out for our next episode. I'm Samar. I'm Rashid. See you in our next video.